So you like to hang pictures on your wall, but you end up with all these nails and nail holes and you don't know how to fix them right. Maybe you end up with this big old spot like this. Well, stick around because I'm going to show you how to do it the right way that leaves a minimal mark. And when you're done, you won't even know it's there. We'll do that right after we come back. Hey guys, it's that Kilted Guy here on YouTube and I thank you for stopping by, subscribing, commenting, and engaging with my videos. We appreciate that a lot. What we're going to cover today is fixing nail holes. You know, I've rented quite a few times and I've been in lots of houses fixing things and I, I see this common mistake. I see people fixing nail holes and ending up with this big old shiny spot on the wall. Now I'm going to paint this in a bit and I'll take a picture of that and put it on the video and what the problem is is you go through and you fix all these nail holes and you have all these little quarter and 50 cent sized shiny spots on your wall that just stand out it does not blend in with this kind of texture now this happens to be a knockdown but the technique is the same whether you've got skip trowel knockdown or so on so what we're going to show you is a couple different techniques here now what most people do is they grab the old putty knife and they spread some on like that. Now we've let this dry and after that I see a lot of people just grab the sanding sponge and sand it until it looks pretty smooth. Well that sort of works. I mean it did make the hole go away but now you went from a hole that big to a shiny spot that big and that's not the right way. If you do happen to do that or you have some of them shiny spots, your option then is to coat it a little bit whiter, sand it smooth and spray some texture on it. And in this case, it'd be a knockdown, but spray some matching texture on it, make it go away that way. And if you do that, you need to put a good quality coat of primer on this little spot and then spot paint it. And then if you repaint the whole wall, it really goes away the best. If we're gonna do a video on blending paint because you can't blend all paints gloss paint blends differently than flat paint does if you at least put a good coat of primer on there and a good coat of paint and blend it good that's at least going to make it the paint blend in then if you did the texture that'll go away now again what what i see most people do is take this and sand it down to there now there was a nail hole there and I'm going to show you another step you could do instead. You could have sanded it to there, but then what you want to do is this. So what you want to do is get you a sponge and get some water in it. And then once you've got the water in it, got it dampened, this spot here you take and just wash it some more. Pretty much wash it completely away and You see now it's disappeared I can't even tell where that hole was somewhere in there so that's one way go ahead and put it on like that uh, another way there's a couple different products you might want to look into this one they call it vinyl spackling it's basically similar to drywall mud now what you could do is just take and get you a little bit put it in that hole right there just kind of rub it to level it out rub it off of these surrounding areas now you made just a tiny little spot right there and when you put a little bit of paint on that that's going to disappear so that would really be my recommended way now if you had a nail shooting competition like we did now this just i didn't know how many nails i was going to need so I stuck a bunch of them in there let me show you this other product though this one i like too it's called fast and final and there's a number of different names for it it's usually something similar to that what's different about this is it doesn't weigh anything it feels like a feather and it it doesn't leave as much of an edge if you have to feel a little bit bigger spot if you're putty and dense and things like that it says that basically it patches and prime in one one step provides ultra smooth surface for painting and hiding of repair 
and no sanding won't shrink or crack so I guess the downside is it's very fluffy it's kind of a dry fluffy product if you use a putty knife it's kind of hard to get it to stick sometime because it's so dry but let's say you got a little bit bigger hole now that one if you filled that with the same method and as I did up here you might still see that the paper kind of stuck out here it's a little bit bigger hole or maybe it really was a, a bigger hole yet for a toggle bolt I see these all the time so let's say it's about that size peel off the loose stuff or push it back in the hole even and then take your spackling or this lightweight and by the way drywallers call drywall mud drywall mud I hear the term spackling used for everything but just so you know now when you put that on I see I've actually seen a lot where it's put on about that rough and kind of left with a thought just sand it down smooth you don't need to wipe it down get most of it back off again this stuff's really not going to shrink much the main thing is you didn't have to put it on real heavy leave all these nasty edges a lot to sand off you could wet sand that back off when it's dry we can probably do it kind of right now and there won't be much left there just that one little circle so hey i'm going to cut this one short this is one of your short videos but don't leave just yet because uh, I want to say, once again, I appreciate you stopping by. If you got any questions about what I did or any other thing that I do, please leave me a, a comment down below. And check out my description. I've got links in there as well as our subscribe link, links to other things, other videos and such. And you'll see all that at the end. And I want to thank you for stopping by and hope that helped you out.